We're trying to create a new paradigm of healthcare because at the same time that the same scientific studies are showing that the drugs and surgery don't work nearly as well as we once thought. I mean, the studies have shown the meta-analyses of stents and angioplasties that they don't work in stable patients. They don't prevent heart attacks, they don't prolong life, they don't even reduce angina. And the same is true for bypass surgery, except in a very small percentage of people who need it. Getting your blood sugar down with drugs doesn't prevent the horrible complications of diabetes, you know, the well, blindness uh, and, and, and... We gotta well, stop wait, here. Wait, wait, this wait, is no. just not correcting. David, diabetes drugs work. No. Heart disease drugs work. Surgery saves lives for heart disease. What are you saying? There was a meta-analysis in the, what was now, what's now called JAMA Internal Medicine. What was, let me finish, please. Now, uh, what was then the Archives of Internal Medicine. They reviewed all six, now eight, of the randomized controlled trials of angioplasties and stents in, in stable patients, including the COURAGE study, a $39 million study in the New England Journal of Medicine. And they all showed the same thing, that in stable patients, they don't work. That was the conclusion. I suggest you read the article. Okay. And, uh, and, and likewise, getting your blood, it's not to say that people with diabetes shouldn't take drugs. Getting your blood sugar down with drugs, the Navigator study, also in the New England Journal of Medicine, two drugs to lower blood sugar, thinking that will reduce the complications of diabetes. It actually didn't. The editorial uh, by David Nathan, who did the diabetes prevention program 10 years earlier, found, also found that lifestyle changes work better than drugs. It's not to say that drugs don't have benefit, I, but listen, lifestyle I'm, changes I'm work better. I'm not going to treat cancer anymore. I'll just go on nutritional therapy and it'll cure all cancer. It's I'm great. not saying that. Don't put words in my mouth. Well, it doesn't prevent prostate cancer. There's no data that it will slow the growth of indolent prostate cancer at all. That's not true. We did a randomized control trial uh, with uh, Peter okay, Kell and Bill Fair. If, if I could make it.